Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, I just wanted to say that the last video was five and a half hours of footage and this video was three hours of footage. So if you like what you see, maybe leave a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what I should try and do and edit to make the videos look better. All right, so let's start and uh, just get straight into the video. Okay, so first off, I made the lights bane, which with the 1.4.4 Labor of Love update, it now makes these whipple effects um, it's kind of cool, but it does barely any damage. Um, so I just put it in storage until I can get the more Masa to make the Knight's Edge. Next up, I made a rudimentary, uh, storage system. The only thing I couldn't make was the crafting interface, because I was missing some sapphires, which I was having a hard trouble finding. After that, I went over to the corruption, the other side of the corruption that I hadn't blown up yet, and I just used boom shurikens and just... I mean, dug a huge tunnel down again. And I think this time I made it a little bit wider just in case, because I don't know how it, how many blocks it spreads across in Calamity. I know in Vanilla it spreads across six blocks, and this leaves a seven block gap, but also in Calamity it spreads much faster, so I don't know if it spreads any further. I did that a few times because, you know, there was another corruption past the ice biome. So I had to go through there, do that again, and then at the other end of that corruption was the dungeon, so I had to go down around the dungeon, and I didn't finish that, but I'll get that done later. So the Weaver Shark is a pickaxe that you can fish up, and it used to be able to mine Hellstone before it was nerfed to be 59 pickaxe power, so that it couldn't mine Hellstone anymore. Um, but one of the Calamity Vanilla tweaks is that the Weaver Shark now has 100% pickaxe power, so it can mine Hellstone again. So here I'm fishing for it to get some Hellstone. So after I got the Weaver Shark, right before I went and mined Hellstone, I built this uh, mini Insta Arena that goes over the corruption so that I can find the uh, Eater of Worlds. Eater of Worms. Um, and I decided to test out the new arena on the Eye of Cthulhu, so that's what I'm doing here. It's, um, I'm, I'm gonna speed it up, because I've already fought the Eye of Cthulhu last episode, so, you know. My next course of action was to go on the Fuzzy Rabbit Mount that I got from doing enough Angler Quest. And when you follow them, when you land, you actually don't take fall damage. So that's, uh, that's pretty good compared to the King Slime Mount where you do take fall damage. Um, and I know I speed through a lot of these uh, segments here. I've sped through you know, three or four segments um, at you know 25 times and five times speed. So um, let me know if you want to, if you want me to show more of that instead of just speeding through it. I just don't think that people would want to see, you know, me just mining Hellstone in lava or me just fighting the Eye of Cthulhu again, right? But um, let me know. With the Hellstone I got, I was able to make a full Hellstone armor set, the pickaxe, the hammer and the sword, the volcano, which is a true melee sword, but it's a pretty large sword and on hits, it causes explosions on, a mini on enemies. So it's pretty good. Oh, so it makes the enemy explode on here. That's pretty good. It's a bit slow of a weapon, but I mean. Why did I go down? Yeah, I should, no, I should have kept going and going down the other hole, but there's a demon off here, so it's fine. Oh, it's just melting him with the explosions. Taking too much damage, I should probably like. Probably not getting hit as much, but. Okay. Okay. I think it's Desert Scourge time now. Might be Desert Scourge time. Might be time to get rid of the Scourge. It was indeed Scourge time. I was fighting the Desert Scourge so that I could get Pearl Shards, so that I could make the Enchanted Sword, so that after I kill the Slime Gods, I can make the Fractured Arc. It's a 
really big crafting tree. Um, but you know, that's what I get for playing melee. Yeah, he's born. Mm -hmm. Wait, I like even though the blade blast is like half the damage. I like the. Uh, I don't have to get as close. So this might be better for this fight. But it's doing a lot less damage. It's also a lot faster as well. Poison sections. Oh, okay, yeah, this is way better. Holy fucking shit. Just let him manage me get all these explosions off, because I think the explosions are hitting multiple segments. Yeah, the explosions hit multiple segments, and then each of those segments take a huge damage. Okay. Oh, each of the explosions on this would be really good, actually. Fresh off the heels of my demolishing of the Desert Scourge, I thought, emphasis on thought, I could take out the Eater of Worlds since I had post-Eater gear. I had Hellstone gear and all that, so, you know. I figured the explosions take out multiple segments really fast. Um, I underestimated just how fucking slow the volcano is. Like, oh my god, dude. Resurrection is drop down, get some good hits in with the uh, thing. Okay, okay, hold on. Wake up here and then just like. Oh, let me up. He's. There we go. They don't have like a ranged thing. There he is, okay. 34 gold dropped and he took it all. Greedy bitch. Okay. I made my way back to just the best biome in the game. The underground desert. So good. Right? It's incredible. But I had to come back down here to get to the sunken sea. So that I could kill the giant clam. Bui Amidas the, uh, what's his name? Amidas the Sea King, or Amadeus. Um, and then once he's killed, no, once he's freed, then I'm, was, uh, you know, just praying that there'd be a melee weapon he dropped. Because I just didn't bother to check.
Thankfully, after freeing Amidas, there was a melee weapon. It did a lot less damage than the volcano, but it did shoot a projectile. 15 melee damage. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. I mean, I'll buy it to see what it does, but like... I mean, that's okay. It's my first decent ranged weapon. Like, ranged melee weapon. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be a way better weapon for, uh... Speed of Worlds. Oh, it's gonna fucking suck ass, never mind. Like, I can hit him when he's down there, but it's... I mean, even this does so little damage. Okay. Why does he... Okay. 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 Okay, this seems like it might actually be good compared to this fucking dingy ass trident. It actually does, I mean, it does more damage than the, uh, Blade of Grass. That's... More damage than the Blade of Grass. Plus, uh, shoots beams that I can actually, like, aim, so... And the beams do good damage, too. I can just... Just wail on them with this, so... Start with the volcano and just blow them up. Shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have done that. Shit, 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 shit. You. Yo, what the fuck? Why are you spawning in like this? But oh, still got- okay. Okay, man. Of course. Fucking bitch, man. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fucking finally, dude. Next, I use more boom shurikens, which are my new favorite mining tool to dig down and dig out an arena for Krabulon. I'm going to pretend I was in a fugue state as an excuse for the many massacres. So I killed Crabulon, I got the melee weapon cl Crab Claw, um, 
And it fucking... Oh, I remember why. So I was recording this because I didn't remember why I was doing it. Um, Because I re-summoned him to we fight him. But I wanted to test the crab claw and it fucking sucked. That's what it was. Yeah, that weapon kind of sucks ass. So after trying the crab, crab claw, I go into hell to try and find the Blade Crest Oath Sword and the Old Lord's Claymore. And I found the Claymore, and I found a lot of voodoo demons. Right? So many fucking... I have like five voodoo dolls. Because they're the only demons that were spawning for a while. The first non voodoo demon that I even find drops it. That's cool. As a finale for the episode, I decided I would be just using the Old Lord's Claymore, flipping through the air, trying to find a hive mind tumor. And I found it, and, you know, figured I'd kill the hive mind to finish the episode. Oh, is this not considered? Hold on, hold on. Okay, why is he enraged? We're in the corruption. Does he have to be underground? He shouldn't. Go underground then. Shit. Bad underground spot actually. He's still enraged. Leave me alone!
Too easy, man. Too easy. How did I have so much trouble with Crabulon if that was that easy? I mean, I had a fucking ass weapon, but still. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so I don't know why he was enraged, but I mean, he was, and I still killed him. So, you know, that's the end of the episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.